and I didn't prune them at all. So this is yet another experiment of what happens when you don't prune them. I did cut some lower branches off because they were laying down in the walkway and they actually broke off, but just letting them do their thing up here. Interesting to see if this paste, yep, still gonna have blossom end rot. That's my last time with this. Green beans and purple beans need to be picked. That, um, let's see if I can go in. Oh, and there's some beets right down the middle. This is just a gorgeous cabbage waiting to harvest that. Um, just put the zinni up there, ripped it out of the ground that big and plunked it in there and it's doing okay. Just harvested this broccoli. Um, Got to do it again. Broccoli's doing very well. This cabbage back down here is just getting eaten, eaten or ripped open by something, so that will be harvested today. Zucchini, doing okay. You know, this is longer than they made it last year. Some of them have succumbed to the um, boring worms, but uh, it's starting to see a little powdery mildew there. And they're starting to set fruit, uh, set flowers again. There's some in there, and I've got some new fruit coming on. These are going to be allowed to wander in the corn. Um, and where was the, there was a butternut right here. And there's several butternut doing very well. This is my zucchetti. Thought I planted spaghetti squash. Ended up being sort of like a zucchini. So that's a real spaghetti squash. I picked most of the zucchettis. Um, and this is actually a pumpkin. That's a spaghetti squash. I didn't plant pumpkins, so I don't really understand how we got pumpkins. Oh, and let me show you. There's one huge one. Where'd he go? Yeah, I guess he's laying down, sitting down now. I probably ripped the vine off because it was higher. Yeah, I didn't plant that. Butternuts, different squashes, those we planted. That's doing very well. Look at the size of this at the end. It's actually getting bigger and bigger. Corn was a failure this year. Learned that uh, the quad doesn't really work out for me. You can't get in to weed it. The weeds got way ahead of me. And then the corn doesn't grow. This one I weeded. This one I weeded later. This one I didn't. This one I'm just starting to weed because some of it's actually trying to go to tassel. And it's actually getting green in a day. In just a couple days, two days, it's already starting to green up. That one I did two days ago and it's starting to get green. This one I did yesterday, it's yellowy green. These, yellow. So, interesting experiment. It's all about learning. Okay, melons. Having a lot of fun. Really enjoying the melons. A lot of work to tie them up. Oh, interesting, look at that one. Interesting coloration. This is a spaghetti squash. Uh, threw something in there because I had a hole. Melon. Looks like it's ripe. Not smelling it. Trying to figure out when exactly these things are ripe. This particular variety, and this one's vine peach. This one is Lilliput. This is what the leaves look like right away. So melons are still doing well. But it gets that, um, I don't know if that's a fungus or a virus. This one's got some wilt going on. This is a honeydew. and uh, But we've got some nice big honeydew underneath there. This is Kajari planted later on. So these are a little bit farther behind. This is the chrysanthemum. That's supposed to taste like yogurt and lychee. This one is, oh, and I learned, tags go up top, not down below, because soon you can't find them. This is a Jenny Lind. That other one down there looks like a Jelly Lind, Jenny Lind too. And here's my watermelon. Uh, save your stockings, because uh, this is how I'm holding this up, and this poor boy is going to rip through that stocking pretty soon. 
but I very I don't usually buy onions, but I ran out, otherwise I wouldn't have had those bags. This one looks like it's ready. I gotta get my clippers up here to pick it. And uh, look at all those melons. How fun. This has been a fun experiment. This one is, I think, vine peach. This one's vine peach. And you can see them turning. Can't really see the color, how yellow they are. Okay. And this looks like a Jenny Lind. These didn't germinate well, so those were ones I probably threw in there at the end. And you can see the difference here in the corn, the yellow to the green, and the size difference. But even some of them, like that tall one right there, even though it was filled with weeds, it kept trying. So this is August 9th, and uh, quick look at uh, the garden.